Today, the National Transportation Safety Board plans to release a preliminary report on the Ohio toxic train derailment. An update on the investigation coming the same day, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is set to visit East Palestine for the first time, nearly three weeks after the disaster. Now, there are some, including the local mayor, who have been slamming Buttigieg and the White House for not visiting before now. Rich McHugh is live there uh, for us on the ground. He's been there for days. Rich, it was just an interesting sight to see, to watch uh, the governor, Governor DeWine, sipping tap water in people's homes there uh, to just prove how safe the water is. Yeah, good morning. Uh, absolutely, Adrian. U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, who earlier this week said he will come here when the time is right, is now finally heading here to East Palestine three weeks after the train derailed and just one day after President Trump visited. Uh, and now that the EPA has said it is moving out of the emergency response phase and transitioning to long-term remediation phase. Meantime, despite Ohio Governor Mike DeWine and other politicians drinking East Palestine's water on camera. East Palestine resident Scott Myers isn't taking any chances. The father of seven stopped by one of the water and food distribution centers in town to pick up supplies because he doesn't believe the water is safe. We're not real impressed, not real happy. So he's 0.1 miles away. I don't see how, yeah, the water coming out of our creeks are going to be any good. I'm not drinking it, neither are our kids, so we won't even feed it to our animals. They are demanding independent testing. Stephen Petty is doing just that. He's an independent environmental scientist and chemical spills expert here testing today for residents, their water and their property. The public can handle negative news. They just want the truth. And so it's not wrong to tell them we don't know yet. Do you think they're getting the truth here? Uh, I don't think they've done enough. I think that they're being told too many positive things given the uncertainties. Now, Petty says there's too much happy, happy talk, and the more candid answer that we don't know yet and we're trying to figure it out is probably the better answer for people here. Rich, the independent scientist you interviewed, is he saying the initial test there has not been comprehensive enough? That's exactly what he said. That's exactly what he told me. He's saying, Look, they, to his knowledge and to, to what he's read, they haven't tested for the individual toxins. And also, when these toxins were released up into the air, they form these other compounds that are potentially more di dangerous, like dioxins. And to his knowledge, they have not tested for that. All right, Rich, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.